if I said in a debate that I would not debate with a Pakistani, I would rightly be called a racist. My question for you is, are you a racist? Why are you applauding that? Indeed. Why are you, what kind of people would applaud that? Am I a racist? You've sat through the last hour and a half of me speaking, and you're applauding someone asking me if I'm a racist? What kind of people are you? Or do you just applaud anything? Would you just applaud anything? You made a better job of it than your friend. I'll grant you that. Talking to me in a language I don't understand and then waving an Israeli flag in my face was not, I suspect, the finest moment that he will experience in what I hope is a long life in public affairs. <laughs> I, I'll let you in on something you don't know. I'm one of the few people on the left in Britain who traveled the length and breadth of apartheid South Africa as an underground agent of the African National Congress led by Nelson Mandela then in Paul's Moore prison in Cape Town. Therefore, the subject of apartheid is particularly important to me. The question of racism is particularly important to me. And in parenthesis, let me tell you this, that throughout the entirety of my time underground in South Africa, under apartheid, every house I slept in, every dinner I ate, every car I drove in was provided by Jewish activists of the African National Congress. So Jews don't have to be on the side of apartheid. They don't have to be on the side of racism. Jewish, Jewish heroes amongst my blood brotherhood, like Dennis Goldberg, who served 27 years on Robben Island in Paulsmoor prison, but who never was able to touch Mandela and his comrades because they were on one side of the apartheid prison wall, and he and a few other Jewish heroes of the African National Congress were on the other. Dennis Goldberg, Albi Sachs, Joe Slovo, Ruth First. Perhaps you've heard of these people. If you haven't, look them up. Jews don't have to be on the side of apartheid. They can stand up against it. And I say to those who imagine that they are friends of the state whose flag was just waved in my face. Turn away from the racist apartheid ideology of Zionism. Turn back to where Jews were before the emergence and the hegemony of Zionism. The greatest people on the earth were Jews. The leaders of the socialist, communist, trade union, liberal enlightenment throughout the 17th, 18th, 19th centuries were great Jews. Marx himself was a Jew. None of them believed that as Jews they should go and take somebody else's country and drive millions of them around the world as refugees. All of them would have turned their back against such an ideology. But because of my experience in South Africa, which included, by the way, being battered and bloodied by a Scottish South African policeman called Campbell. It's one of the reasons why I hate Alistair Campbell so much. <laughs> in Guguletu police station, in the Guguletu township in Cape Town, although the policeman had eventually to wash my feet in public, in penitence. But that's another story. 
because of my time in South Africa, because of the decades that I worked against apartheid in South Africa, do you imagine that I would turn up at a university and debate apartheid with a supporter from South Africa of the apartheid system? I'd rather punch him in the face than debate with him. Why? Because apartheid is a racist poison. It is the worst kind of fascism. And I would never debate with any supporter of South African apartheid. Why should I debate with a supporter of Israeli apartheid?